Hello again. I've unpackaged my pineapple. I've attached the uh, two antennas and I also applied the sticker that I wanted onto the pineapple. And the next step here is to boot up the pineapple for the very first time, which has to be done very carefully, not too carefully, to make it very easily. The reason for this is so they can ship out the pineapple with the latest firmware. The last thing that anybody wants to do is to get a brand new device and have it be outdated by several different versions of firmware. So in this card that says warning, which you should read, it tells you step by step how to install the pineapple. On the back side there's a supply supplied 2 gigabit micro SHD card that tells you to put it right in to the Mark V. So on the side over here there's actually a micro SD slot. You can see right there. I've already taken a look at it. It's really straightforward. All you have to do is just like if you're to push in a SIM card for your cell phone. You just have to remove the card. Slide it face down right into the slot. Slides right in. It's spring loaded. All you have to do is push. You can actually hear the click. I'm going to do that again so I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. I'm going to push it right back in. Next thing you do is you want to give your uh, your Mark V power. I already plugged in one end of the power cable. So all I'm going to do is going to supply power right to the pineapple. So you definitely want to do is you want to open up your manual to page 9, 8 and 9, and it actually steps you through this process as well. Even though it's on the card, the information is duplicated. Just to ensure that everybody is uh, on the same page. And there's specific lights right here on the pineapple that kind of tell you what's going on. All right, so I'm going to plug it in. We're going to do this together. It's the first time I'm doing this. So all i got to do is plug it in. Green light means that it's powered. The amber light will start blinking, and it will actually be searching for the upgrade files. Once the amber light starts blinking, uh, one of the things to keep in mind is if you receive a red light, it means that MD5 checksum has failed. There should be two files according to the uh, live broadcast. One is the actual file itself, and the second file is actually MD5 to ensure that there was no corruption. And then once the flashing starts, the solid green light, the blue light, will uh, come on. There it goes. So right now it's actually flashing. And then once that blue light starts, uh, or once it, the blue light is solid, it's actually flashing, and once the blue light is blinking, that means that it's uh, changed over to booting up the pineapple. Once it's booted up, your red, blue, and amber lights uh, will be flashing in a pattern, which means that the uh, firmware flash is completed successfully. You know, flashing blue light means that it's actually booting up right now. What we're waiting for is the red, amber, and combination lights to start flashing to let us know that the firmware flash has completed successfully. There we go, we have the red, blue, Amber lights flashing to let me know that the flash has been successful. At this point, I should be able to access my Mark V either through the Ethernet port or through the Wi Fi connection. I plan on going through the Wi Fi connection. Our next video is going to be showing what that looks like on the desktop, launching a browser, and then pulling up the configuration for the very first time.